Hashtag not sponsored. Not sponsored posts. This You're is welcome. this is the most sponsored post ever. Here's my shoelaces right now. I'm just saying that because that's his company. I know what his company is, Haley. He is my friend, not yours. He doesn't even like you. Uh, I got some of those unbreakable shoelaces. Is that true, Christian? This video, is the premise of the video is not about these shoelaces. I'm just pointing out that I'm putting them in now. And I'll talk about them after I skid them for a while because I can't. What? Come back, babe. But, I, you know, I can't decide whether they're a crappy gimmick or not until I actually skate them for a while. So I'm going to skate them and then make a video about it later. But putting them in. Look at he's getting his shoelaces in. He's a screwdriver. It's because it's a it's a tool. This is how you do it. So I actually how many skaters does it take to lace up a shoe? Because I, I chopped the tips off of these to fit in a, a pair of shoes that had metal brackets. It's the only pair of shoes that the shoelaces don't fit in unless you chop the tips off. But I'm putting them in a different pair of shoes now because those shoes are dead. And uh, yeah, it's getting this in. It's gonna be a nightmare. So Haley and me just had a battle royale on who was gonna film who first because the park's relatively empty. Which I've never seen this park that empty because it's kind of small. Uh, so like four people is crowded. But uh, the battle was great flip over the hip. She did one where she kind of landed in a rock. So she got another redo. And then she did it with a little bit of a toe touch. And then I said, whoa, would you make me redo it? She said she wouldn't. And then I came nowhere near it. I don't think I like I landed a really, really crappy one. I like that. Um, you're narrating. <laughs> what happened? Well, I want them to know because there's a lot of exciting drama that happened in that battle to the great flip. Great flip's like a where you do a 360 and the board does a hard flip, I guess, so you spin past it. But no one got to see it. No one got to see it, so I have to explain it to you. We both roasted it super sick above the coping on the Euro gap? I don't know. <laughs> no, we tried it over the hip and yeah, she won. So I'm filming her first, so goodbye. Bull skater Haley, you just cross lock. Yeah, I cross lock when I 50 50 in transition and just lean into the ramp. Oh, deep end girl! I mean, you did it! I made it like halfway through the curve. Here's the ball skater. Sure, you don't want 
keep it going. I'm so sure I don't want to keep it going. That was so bad. I haven't done this trick since I was like an infant. I suck at spinning backside 360, but for some reason, if I do it with a kickflip or a big flip, it's easier for me to spin. That was awful though. Let's try it. Yeah, let's do it again. to the fence and then just like body check the, the rail. Valley, whoo, it gets real hot in the coastal valley. Are they still on my face? There are boogies on my stash? Nice. Uh, so I kind of have a weird fascination with like skate stoppers and knobs. I think, honestly it was Vanessa Torres. I saw her front board a handrail that was knobbed. I think it's like a rail in Canada. And like since then I've been like, oh, I just want to skate everything that's knobbed. Like, I think it's so sick when someone puts effort in to make something not skatable and then you can still find a way to skate it. So I'm sure if you've noticed in a lot of videos, whenever I find something that's skate stopped, I usually like try to find a way to skate it. 
Uh, and this is a pretty unique skate stopped obstacle. Like ledges, I get, rails, I get. It's very obvious on how to skate stop that stuff. Uh, maybe even like a weird bank ramp they could put, uh, I've seen them put um, parking blocks across it, which makes it so you can just kind of slap you those instead. But th at this skate park, at Westlake Skate Park, there's a hill out front and they evidently skate stop the hill for pe from people bombing the hill. Uh, so you can look at it right here. This is not, evidently it's not for cars. This is for skateboarding. And they put all these little things here. So when you go to try to bomb down the hill, you know, I guess the idea was you would just get caught up on them. But what's sick is they don't stick up. They, they stick up enough to like, they could definitely like jar you and throw you off your board. Let's see. But they don't catch your truck, I don't think. Wait, is my truck catching? Um, I mean, it's hitting it. Oh, yeah. You do kind of grind them. But, it's like... but you go right over it. You know what I mean? But like, I mean, obviously they have to make a round for cars to go over it. Uh, and there's, I think there's three sets of them going yeah. down this like what would be an extremely fun hill bomb and i think the reason for it is the bottom of the hill spits you right out into where people in the parking lot would go to get to the next parking lot or go behind this building right here so it's kind of like you'd come right onto the t and if you don't know what you're doing you get hit by a car maybe someone got hurt on the hill and that's why they did it maybe someone got hit by a car usually skate stoppers like this that are not specific for saving property are there for uh safety reasons like the there's like a famous, not, it's not famous at all. There's a local legend hill back where I was where a kid fell and, and cracked his skull open. And like, what they, they like, evidently, the, the rumor is they, when they repaved it, they made it way rougher. So you couldn't like really skate on it. And like the rumor was like they did it so people wouldn't bomb the hill anymore. Cause a lot of local kids were going there to bomb the hill. It was like a real mellow hill and then like dip down real steep. But anyways, obviously I'm gonna try to ride down this hill and ride through the skate stoppers. Uh, it looks like it's about six foot, maybe like seven foot. So it'd be pretty easy to ollie over them too. Why don't you um lay across it? You're like six foot. We'll see if it actually is. No, I because I. It's a little hot out. You're right. The yeah, ground's hot. I'll probably hot. burn myself. You probably would. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Plus, like I'm six seven, so it wouldn't you'd have to? It's hard to eyeball seven inches. True. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got so many men. I was kidding. Uh, so I, I guess the first thing I'll do, you want to say, I'm gonna ollie over them and then power slide, try to slow down, and then I'll. I'll walk back up the hill for the sake of this video and then i'll try to ride through them what do you want me to do stand there yeah i'm not a fan of hill bombing stuff so i'm definitely not gonna fall on this oh, you gotta be cooking and it's like already kind of okay i gotta go faster i'll try to ollie the crown's also really rough and you'd think that since it's rougher power sliding would be easy because it's like less ground for you to slide across but this ground's really grippy for power slides maybe it's because i have new wheels but uh yeah i was trying to power slide down it earlier and it was like tough how did that feel you definitely get cooking but i think like when you're usually going fast on a hill bomb you're going over sewer drains and little grates and stuff that's always really exciting but i honestly think for these it will be more fun to go fast and just try to ride through them because it kind of like bounces your trucks around a little bit so i think what i really want to do is i want to try to bomb the hill and just ride through all of them and it's, i guess power slide as little as possible when it curves a couple times good it curves really sharp I'm definitely gonna do it again. I didn't need the power slide, so I'm gonna do it again going even faster. Cause that, I wanna like have it be a little bit more scary. These things are very counterproductive for stopping skating. You just kind of like roll right over them. They do kind of make your trucks shift a little bit, but that's not a big deal unless you're going decently fast. So let's try to put me in like a little bit of danger at least. I don't think we need to do that. I'm not gonna go like crazy fast, but I'm gonna like push into the first one. I just literally let like the speed of the hill take me down that, that time. And every time I've ridden down this thing, I always power slid because I expected that I was gonna need to, but that, I mean, I ride looser trucks and even then I didn't even get wobbles at the bottom. So yeah, I'll try it again going faster. Okay, so that time I pushed into it, I went faster. Still wasn't super fast. Like it still wasn't fast enough, at least for me to be kind of spooked. Barely speed wobbles at the end. So I'm just gonna try to ollie all of them. Cause I'm going fast enough to clear the first one. Did you ollie one of them? I ollied this one. Just cause it was like, 
I was going fast enough where I could just do a baby alley and still clear it. Uh -huh. But it'd be cool to have that kind of speed near the second one. So when I get to this one, this alley will be really scary and making that turn will be even scarier. You're going fast. If I fell out, it would be not great, but it wasn't so scary that I was like, oh, out of my league. So I'm not, you know, SF hill bomber guy. I do like hill bombs, but I'm not like anywhere near those GX1000 fucking dudes. But yeah, that was super fun. All, after alling the second one, I thought I was gonna have to power slide. But then like when you go around this turn. <laughs> it looked like it when he like <laughs> crouched down, like he just jumped off a 12 stair. It was scary. <laughs> Cause I knew that like once you go around this turn, it gives you so much speed and then that little bottom spit out. If you carve this way, and then there's those two big cracks where the curb cut is. I was like, it's scary to go over those diagonal going fast. But it was, that ended up being fine. That was super fun. I'm glad that we came to the skate park at the very least for this hill bump. Do you love this insanely long eyebrow hair that I always get? Does anyone else get this guy? The good homie? I mean, my face is dirty as hell. We, uh, we plucked this thing before, right? Oh. I know you like it. There you go. Thank you. What'd you do with it? Haley! Haley!
So we actually came back up to the skate park, as you just saw, to skate some more, which means we go down this hill again, and I thought, maybe I'll try to manual it one time, and then try to nose manual it one time through the skate stoppers and see what happens. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it through maybe, like, possibly the first two on the manual, and then I don't, I'll probably, like, chicken out when I get to the second one on nose manual, because it's kind of hectic, but, uh, yeah, I'll give those two a go. Oh, they really, like, kind of jar you. I'll try nose manual. Those things fuck you up on manuals way more than I thought. I'll try nose manual once. Going like that recently. fast? What? You're going to be going fast when you go through them. Yeah, I know. I got to figure it out slow first. That's, that's the thing. You're not going to be going that slow. That's scary. There's no way. Yeah. I don't think he's got it. <laughs> 